Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to look at how to use the Every Dollar app. Hi everyone. This is what the Every Dollar application looks like on the desktop. As you can see, they've already put some categories on here to get you started. But if you follow us, you know we like to keep it simple. There's no reason that we need to separate all of these categories and expenses. Expenses are expenses, and so I'm going to show you how we use it. But you can use it however you would like. So when you're starting a new month, you'll go up here where I went and you'll click the little drop down and you'll select a new month. It will usually ask you if you would like to copy from the previous month, but since I already have this set up, it did not. And this is what it looks like. Like I said, you can change it however you would like. Um, all you have to do is click these categories. You can delete some. You can change the name by doing this here. Whatever your little heart chooses, you can do it. So first things first, we're going to talk about just adding your expenses into the application. And so you can do it on the phone as well, but first we're going to cover the desktop. And it's pretty easy. Um, let's go down here to bills and utilities. Let's say we have um, car maintenance and you just add item and then put, um, hopefully I spelled car maintenance right. <laughs> okay, great. So I did spell car maintenance right. And now I'm going to show you how to like just put your amounts for each of your expenses. And so we don't use the every dollar application to track all of our bills and utilities because one, I'm not going to put it in here and then have to go to my spreadsheet. I will show you where we track it. Yep, that's our spreadsheet. And so when we were using every dollar, we used it to only track things that are variable. So like groceries, leisure, something that we're in control of the amount. And so we're going to just go and start putting in the numbers here and you just click it and you see it's under planned. You put your amount and there you go. So you will see here that we have planned over here on the right hand corner of your screen for variable expenses, $1,025. And usually we don't even have the bills and utilities or savings or debt categories because we only want to use these apps to track our digital cash envelopes. And so now let's look at how to add transactions. All right, so to add transactions, you will go up to the right hand corner of your screen and click transactions. Add new. And then here you go. So let's say I spent $50 at Target. Then you choose your budget item here. And then let's say that was for home expenses. And then you just say track expense. And voila, here, now it has updated that we spent 50 of the $100. You can also change the spent column to remaining, like so. So you can see like, hey, I have $50 remaining here, like this, or you can just leave it on spent. Whatever makes you happy, honey. All right, now let's look at how to split expenses. We're going to go back up here to add new. I'm going to spend $100 at my favorite place, Costco. Then we're going to choose groceries. And then you see here it says add a split. So yes, I would like to split it, Dave Ramsey and we're going to split it between home expenses and so let's say I spent 75 on groceries and then it lets me know that I have $25 remaining so yes I want to put $25 here and then guess what that's it you just click track expense woot woot 
One more final thing about this before we go and look at the phone app is over here on the left hand corner you'll see that you have your budget that's the main point of the every dollar application and then the baby steps. So if you follow the baby steps then it will remind you what the baby steps are and like you can input your information and somehow it tracks it but um, if you don't follow the baby steps then obviously you don't care. Alright, let's go look at the phone application. So this is what the every dollar app looks like on the Android phone. You'll see that you have all of the things that you had on the desktop, just a little squished. <laughs> okay, so first things first, let's do a transaction. You will use the plus sign at the bottom left hand corner of the screen or you can click on one of the categories. And so that's what we're gonna do. Click on groceries. And then down here at the right hand corner, you click the plus sign, type in the amount. I went to Target again. And you see it automatically puts in the groceries for you since you did it within that category. And then you can add notes or check number and then click the check mark. So let's look at another thing, splitting transactions. So this time we are gonna use the bottom left hand corner plus sign. Type in $25. Um, where did I go? The Dollar Tree, how about that? <laughs> um, then you choose your budget categories groceries and allowance how about that and then you see here that it says you have $25 left to split Avi I'm gonna put I spent $10 in groceries there and then the other 15 for allowance I wish it would automatically put what you have left over but it does not do that so once everything looks good you just click the check mark and then the last thing with the app, you can still see what you spent and the remaining by using the tabs at the top of the screen. All right, hope this helps you. Bye.